Hey, this is Will. This is Christian. This is the 2013 World Yoga Contest interview montage. So this year, we both went to Worlds for the first time. I thought it'd be fun to go around and ask a bunch of different people different questions about Worlds and yo in general. This was actually inspired by the um, video montage by Mike Fasano. He did a Worlds in 09. So we'd like to say thanks to him for inspiring this video. So, question number one, plastic or metal? First question, plastic or metal? Metal. Metal? All right, that was quick. <laughs> metal. Metal? Okay. Plastic. Metal. And plastic. Metal and plastic. All right. Yeti. Yeti. Uh, both. Both. Not at the same time. <laughs> okay. That's a hard job. Can I go like both? No. Um, I think there's like different, like, for me, um, I switch between both, like, just like for fun, like, Classic always has an iconic feel to it. Metal at the same time too, like it's really good for competition, really good for like doing long spinning tricks. So I don't know, it's a yo-yo. They're all really fun to play with. Really great answers there. Personally, I prefer metal. Metal, definitely metal. metal. Can't go wrong with plastic though. A lot of good plastic gear is coming out right now. Okay, second question. When did you start yo-yoing? Uh, it'll be four years in October. I started two and a half years ago. Spring break of 2009. Winter break of 2009. Question number three, what is your favorite yo-yo? The MME, Heavy Hitter 3 Mike Marshall Edition by Chico Yo-Yo Company. Uh, the Bear Man 2 by Caracol. The Yeti and the Puffin. Okay. The Yeti and the Bear vs. Man. Uh, the Shutter. That's the name. Mm. I thought it was still a secret. Yeah, you can see your signature, <laughs> sort of. But yeah, I thought it was still a secret. Oh no, it's not a secret anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> Could be the Snoop prototype that way. That's gonna be mine. Maybe. Alright, you should pick one up. <laughs> the Supernova. The new one? Yes. Very cool. Play your one, it's good. Uh, I'll the shutter. A lot of good yo-yos on those lists. Personally, my favorite right now is the Word Fruitcher. I have the blueberry. He won that from Word <laughs> at Worlds from Raffle. How I cool did. is that? It How was, cool? It was pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Mine, I bought this from Mike Marshall. It's a Yo-Yo Factory Genesis, the Joe Ann edition. All right. He's kind of pumped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. So it good. is. I have one of those. Yeah. All right. So the next question was, what do you like about Worlds? It's really nice to see like all the people that you don't get to see all year. And uh, the competition is really just pretty fun because it's more of a convention. You get uh, to watch a game show at night and there's uh, Worlds videos and you just get to hang out with all these cool people. I like meeting all the foreign people that I don't normally get to meet at normal contests. Like, uh, the sort of contest and like meeting people from uh, the other side of the world. A lot of people in many places. Exactly, everyone's staying at the same place and there's people from all over the world. You get to chill with everyone. West Coast, East Coast, everyone. It's really good. Cool. What do I like about Worlds? Um, I like to see um, all the people from different countries. What's not to like about Worlds is really the question. Um, 
there's so much, it's, it's really awesome seeing Yo Young crew with so many different eyes, like the international calendar, so many different styles, so many different aspects of it, how people look at Yo Young. And it's, it's really just insane, like just the language barrier, how I can talk to someone who doesn't even know English, just through Yo Young. It's, it's really amazing. That's one of the things I just love about Yo Young. The carpet. <laughs> A lot of really good answers, and Ben, I totally agree. The carpet of the Rosen Plaza is fantastic. Oh yeah. All right. So, question number five is: Besides the division you mainly compete in, what would you compete in? Five A probably, even five though eight. I have, don't have any experience. Five. Yeah, five A and three eight. a little bit of three A. division at least one time, but if I would, could be good at one division, I'd probably be 2 eight. The mud contest. I do AP. Our next question is, who are you looking forward to seeing this year at Worlds? I'm really looking forward to some Gentry's freestyle and uh, Andrew and Mike, because they're some of my favorite people ever. Um, Janos, correct. Gentry's time. It's freestyle. <laughs> Everybody. Will Hall. Um, that's about it. Really anyone who has new original stuff. My taxi driver to the airport. Uh, ben Condi. Uh, Alright, who I wanted to see at Worlds this year was Shu Takata. Man, that guy is really good. Really good routine this year. Uh, I wasn't looking for anyone in particular this year, but I really was looking forward to seeing a lot of the foreign players that I've only seen on like YouTube and stuff. It's really, really cool. Really cool. Alright. Alright, so the next question we asked was, who do you think would win? Can't say? Why not? I don't know who's going to win. <laughs> um, my top three are Janos, Karan, uh, Emma Charisma, and Zach. Probably like seven different people like could win. Yeah, there's a lot. But I think Gentry's a favorite. Gentry is my pick, but Christopher Chia also. Not post that anywhere. I think it's a good yeah. choice. It's, it's hard to say. I can't make the obvious choice of me. But no, no. Uh, I don't know. There's there's really no clear cut winner. I think this year, and that's what makes it really special. Hopefully, the best guy. A lot of really good predictions there. Uh, of course, Worlds has already ended, so we know who won. So, congratulations to Janos, Takuma, Hank, Michael, Takeshi, and Spin Nation. Okay, we have one more question here, and this is a big one. What do you think of Kendamas? I think they're cool. I can't do them very good. You do Kendama. That's cool. <laughs> Right now, I'm taking a break from my cadaver, just because it's world, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, that's alright. They're fun. They're a good pastime, but yeah. a lot of times you go to these yo-yo contests and everyone has a kendama. It's just like, yo, put that piece of wood down. <laughs> Pick up a yo-yo. Awesome. I think they're cool in the right setting. The right setting? A lot of yo-yo contests. Not a world at least. Um, I actually really like the Thomas. They're very addicting. It hurts my yo-yoing in the way that um, sometimes I should be practicing by playing on the Thomas set. But it's a great, it's a really great skill toy. I've never really gotten into other skill toys besides yo-yoing, so it's definitely one that I definitely spend more time with compared to anything else. Yeah, I'm down with Ken Thomas. <laughs> they're, they're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. I mean, yo-yoing's my first love, so. 
So, this concludes the 2013 World Yo-Yo Contest interview montage. We'd like to give a thanks to everyone that participated in the interviews and give a special thanks to Mike Fasano for doing the original back in 09. For Yolix Yo-Yo Club and YoYoSkills.com, this is Will. This is Christian. We'll see you later.